Today, we are very excited to begin our four-part mini-series, Reclaim Your Life, Relearn to Relive, in a way you've never lived before. In the coming weeks, we're going to roadmap how you can take back your life from addiction, what that looks like, the courage it takes to do so, and the tools that'll assist in a victorious outcome. While not easy to talk about, it's something we must talk about. Joining me this morning is Dr. Maureen Esposito, Executive Vice President of Clinical Services at Transformations Treatment Center in Delray Beach, Florida. She and her team will be helping us tackle this epidemic of addiction. Doctor, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you so much, I'm happy to be here. Doctor, you know, everybody struggles with something in their life. We've had our ups and downs, but is it safe to say that people take refuge in different ways? I think they do. I think people will look to a variety of things for comfort and for solace. And life is becoming very difficult in this day and age. And many times people very innocently will drink or drug thinking that it's a one-time thing or a casual thing or a social thing. And before you know it, it becomes a problem. So this is what we're really taking a look at when people wind up in treatment. Life has become very difficult and life has become many times out of control with substances. And what does substance abuse look like? Substance abuse will really look like a variety of things. It'll look like a housewife who has a few children at home. It will look like a teenage boy, a teenage girl. It will look like a, a husband who goes to work. It'll look like someone who uh, has a lot of stress. It'll look like someone who may be just partying. And so it comes in a variety of uh, shapes and sizes, and it shows absolutely no discrimination between the young and the old, the educated, the uneducated, the rich and the poor. As I've heard, it can happen to you, it can happen to me, and I always wonder what to look out for. Things to look for will be changes in habits. If you have a close family and the child suddenly doesn't want to come to the dinner table, or starts to sleep excessively, or stays out late all night, th those sorts of things. And doctor, how do we know we, we have lost control? Many times the client or the patient themselves has no idea they've lost control. It's the family members around them who might say, really? what's going on? You look like you've lost control. Mm. You've either lost a lot of weight, you know, your sleeping habits are changing, your dietary habits are changing, maybe you're not taking care of yourself. So those would be some of the signs that um, addiction, uh, substance abuse has gotten out of control. And I'd like our viewers to know that I spent some time with you and your staff at the Transformations Treatment Center. What an amazing facility. Talk to me about it. In your uh, taking a tour of our facility, I think you really got an idea of what wonderful staff members we have. Yes. Highly educated, very personable, very warm and nurturing. And partly that's what people need when they come into recovery, is that they forget how to socialize, they forget that the helpers are all around them and that the love is all around them. And I was actually able to meet some very special people who are reclaiming their lives, mm -hmm. facing their fears, and really having courage to be at your facility and the courage to speak to me. So I'd like to share that with my That'd viewers. Is that okay? That'd be Let's great. take a listen. When you're active, you don't think about anybody else. All you can think about is yourself and, you know, and whatever you need to do to get that next drug. I had nobody in my life. I was living on the streets in the winter with, no, with you know, the clothes on my back, no money in my pocket. Um, it's pretty much just me. The more I drink, the more depressed I got, and the more damage I would do. Now, Doctor, each of them has a different perspective, but yet truly relatable issues, right? Exactly. I think the connecting factor is isolation. People become isolated in their addiction. When people come in and they don't have hope, they almost feel desperate. What I usually say to them is, we have enough hope for you, and we'll carry you until you develop that hope in yourself through the treatment. Thank you so much for being here. Thank I you know for we're going to see you again. Yes, absolutely. Thank you again to your staff to, uh, and everyone there for allowing us to go in there. It really was an amazing experience Thank for you. me as well. And be sure to head to our website for a link to Transformations and all the resources they offer. The site allows you to chat or call the administration line and speak to someone that can help or just be a listening ear. And please stay tuned, as in the coming weeks, we're going to look at all parts of addiction, from recognizing the signs to family dynamics, from coping tools to reclaiming your life. So a lot to talk about. Stay tuned.